ace of the Cape Cod Baseball League. Tonight we call Commodore Handy Field at the Massachusetts Maritime Academy home as the Wareham Gatemen host the Falmouth Commodores in a crucial Western Division clash. Here on the leadoff spot alongside Aiden Blank, Jack Hunter with you and Aiden, things have been tough lately for the Gatemen. One and eight in their last nine games. The month of July has not been pretty, but it is a bright spot of the season tonight playing at a nice complex. We get the beach about 50 yards away from us. Can't complain too much. Yeah, it's a beautiful complex. We're very happy to have our friends at WCTV here with us. And uh, well, hopefully the Gatemen can change things up with this change of scenery. Playoff push. This is one of their two biggest remaining games. Falmouth, one of the teams they're most likely to catch. Falmouth and Bourne five times in their remaining 12 games they will face. And Falmouth has been hitting the long ball. 12 homers in the month of July. One of two teams in the league, along with Hyannis, to have double-digit wins in the month. But the Gatemen turned to Riley Eikhoff tonight to try to limit that. Yeah, and last Friday, if you remember, uh, he was absolutely magnificent. At that point, no starter had gone six innings. Since then, there's been one more. But he, uh, he has gone longer than any other Gateman starter this season. You're hoping for another six-inning uh, six start out of him tonight. And speaking of magnificent, Tommy Splain has done just that. He has a seven-game hit streak, and six out of those seven games, he's had multi-hit efforts, and he's with Amanda right now here on the leadoff spot. I'm joined now by Tommy Splain. And, Tommy, in the last three games, you've had two hits, and all of them you're on a seven-game win streak. What have you been seeing at the plate? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just seeing the ball well, staying aggressive, and just staying on that fastball. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's about it right now. And clearly, we are not at Spillane Field today. It is a home game for you guys, but playing at Mass Maritime, different field, it's turf, obviously a different view from the outfield. What did you notice when you were taking batting practice? Um, there is a white backdrop, but, uh, you know, so that'll be interesting. But, uh, no, I mean, it's, it's an awesome field and a different environment, so but that'll be cool. And you're playing on turf, not dirt. Do you think that's going to change anything about the game a lot? Um, it might. Um, not much, but, I mean, it'll change a little bit with the ground balls and uh, the ball roll a little faster through the infield and the outfield, but nothing really. And then one last fun question. Um, if you could pick, up, uh, pick a walk-up song, we don't have those out here in the Cape, but what would your walk-up song be? Ooh. Um, <laughs> um, God, I don't know. Um, probably um, Too Haughty by Migos. All right, great. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Back on the leadoff spot from the Massachusetts Maritime Academy alongside Aiden Blank. Jack Hunter with you, getting you set for Falmouth and Wareham tonight. And Aiden, as we look around the league in the West, things are getting a little tighter in the middle. Yeah, uh, you got a good battle going on at the top. Don't look now, but here comes Hyannis. Katuit can actually clinch a playoff spot. If they win and Wareham loses tonight, they will uh, be impossible. It would be impossible for them to drop past fourth by the end of the season. Again, Hyannis just five points back, and the big change in the standings is uh, Falmouth is now past Bourne. They are no longer in that last playoff spot. They're playing so well. They're now in third. Bourne is now in fourth. Wareham got to start looking at one of those two teams. All you got to do is pass one of them, and you get in the playoffs. And in the East, YD is still in first place, but Orleans is playing good baseball recently. They're two games above 500, just a few points back. And then Brewster, especially after the win yesterday versus Wareham, is creeping up on Harwich for that three spot. And then you got Chatham in the basement looking to figure things out. They ended up tying Katuit after being down 10 runs yesterday. So a lot of people think there's some hope there. All right, let's keep things going here on the leadoff spot. Here's the manager's report. Ryan Smythe with Amanda Foster. Back on the manager show with Ryan Smythe and obviously not at Spillane Field here at Mass Maritime Academy. Coach, this is technically a home game for you guys. Does it feel like a home game? Uh, not, not so much. <laughs> um, this is a really cool setup. Um, you know, I, I'm glad that our guys get to experience this here. Um, you know, but hopefully we get our first road home win uh, tonight. That would be that'd be really cool. I was going to ask about that. And also the, the field itself is different playing on turf. A different look out in the outfield, a white house in the batter's eye. Just what do you, what can you expect playing on turf and just in a different condition in a field like this? Uh, I mean, you'd have to imagine that you're going to get more truer hops out here. Um, not too many bad hops. I, I 
Let's hope this is a cleanly fielded uh, uh, game. Um, that would be a, a huge boost for us, um, but it's a beautiful surface to play on. And kind of going off of that, after the, the last few games that you've had, are there any things that you want to see your team come out and work on, and conversely, things that you don't want to see tonight? Uh, I just want us to keep playing with some energy. Um, you know, I think it's 12, 13 games left, whatever it is. Um, I just want to see guys that are hungry to play baseball out here um, and enjoy their time while they're here um, because there's a lot of guys out there that would love to be in these kids' shoes. And sometimes I think we look past the, you know, what the Cape League actually stands for and means. Um, and I think some of these guys kind of lose that a little bit in, in – um, over the course of the season of they don't understand how fortunate they are to be out here and some of the greats that have played in this league um, to be able to play in this league they got to appreciate it. Is there anything that you as a coach have done or can do to help them with that mentality or is that something they have to figure out on their own? Um, I, I think they've they've seen it certainly with the draft um, you know most of I, I don't know what the number was but I know it's a high percentage of of guys that have played out here that have been drafted um, you know, even in the big leagues, um, I mean, there's a lot of guys on every roster um, that had a summer out here in the Cape. Um, so I think that's a motivating factor enough to know that these guys are, they know they're a step away from their dreams um, and uh, to keep performing and never know, you know, any given day, there could be somebody here watching them that, that ends up liking what they do that day. On Riley Eikhoff starting on the mound for you tonight. In his last outing, he pitched six innings. Can we expect something similar tonight? I hope so. Um, he's been, I mean, Mr. Efficient, um, steady Eddie up there. We know what we're getting. Um, it's not going to strike a whole lot of guys out, but he's going to, you know, pitch three, four pitches for strikes. He's going to work quick. Um, he's going to keep our defense on their toes, and, and hopefully we can, you know, mix it up just enough to get some guys out on their front foot and maybe roll over a bunch. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm joined now by Bobby Bozer, and Bobby, obviously we're not at Spillane at Mass Maritime here today, playing on a turf field. You told me earlier that you like the turf. What do you like about it? How smooth it is. I love playing on turf because you get good bounces and you can read balls good. So. Did you have a lot of experience with it at school? Yeah, we switched to turf recently, the past year, and I've kind of fallen in love with it, so it's a good difference. Is there anything you think, when you talk about the positives of turf, any negative impacts you think it could have today for either team? Just the heat. I mean, I'm a big sweater, so, you know, it gets a little hot out there, but other than that, I like it. And you were recently named an All-Star going to the All-Star game this weekend. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Coming up here, I didn't have much expectations, but playing every day, getting comfortable, it's a, it's a good goal. Oh, and you've played a lot of positions, obviously. We've talked about it a lot before. How has that helped you develop as a player this summer? A ton. I think it's helped me develop as an athlete all around and just being out here every day, getting to just play baseball. It's great development. And one final kind of fun question. There are no walk-up songs here on the Cape, but if you could have one, what would it be? This, this year at school, I went with a Drake song, so I'm probably going to go with Drake again. I don't know which song, but I'll find it. Right. There are a lot to choose from, there so are. that's okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.